Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. My name is Quincy and I will be talking about physical and chemical changes. So now let's begin. Physical and chemical change. The differences between physical and chemical changes are in a physical change, the nature of the substance, the particles of which is composed, and the numbers of particles remain unchanged. No new substances is formed and the outcome is the same as before. In a chemical change, the properties of the new substances are different from the original. The particles are different and the number of particles can change. A new substance is formed and the after result is irreversible. The physical properties of a substance are albedo, a percentage of solar radiation reflected by an object, area, the size of a two-dimensional surface, boiling point, the temperature at which a liquid turns into a gas, brittleness, the tendency to break, color, the wavelengths of light reflected by the matter, density, the amount of matter per unit of volume, ductility, how readily a substance stretches into a wire, elasticity, a deformed material returning to its original shape, Freezing point, the temperature at which a substance turns into a solid. Hardness, the resistance to deformation. Length, the longest dimension of an object. Luster, the interaction between light and an object's surface. Malleability, of how readily a substance may be pressed into sheets. Mass, the amount of matter in an object. Melting point, the temperature at which a solid turns into a liquid. Opacity, of how much light passes through the material. Reflectivity, the capacity of an object to reflect solar radiation. Solubility, the amount of water that dissolves in a solvent. Temperature, the thermal energy of a substance. Viscosity, resistance to deformation by stress. Resistance to flow. Volume, the three-dimensional space a substance occupies. Weight, the effect of gravity on a mass. The indicators of physical change. The substance is the same as before. Its size and shape had been changed. Changes of mass, weight, and volume. In some cases, the substance is reversible. Expected change of color, change in state of matter, change of temperature, and change of opacity. The, indi the indicators of chemical change are the substance is new compared to before. Its size and shape had been changed. The changes of mass, weight, and volume. Change in state of matter. Change in smell or taste. Temperature change. Gas bubbles appear. Smoking or burning. The production of light. The color change. The precipitation. And the irreversible. The difference between endothermic and exothermic physical change. Endothermic. A reaction that absorbs heat causing its surroundings to cool down. Exothermic, a reaction that releases energy by light or heat, causing the temperature of its surroundings to rise. Types of chemical change. Decomposition reaction. The molecules or compounds break down into two or more than two simpler chemically new substances. Combination reaction. Two or more molecules are combined chemically to form a new substance. Combustion reaction. The exothermic reaction that releases energy. Neutralization reaction. Acid and base react with each other and form salt and water. Single displacement reaction. More reactive metal displaces less reactive metal from its salt. Double displacement reaction. Two aqueous ionic compounds exchange their ions and produce two new compounds. Precipitation reaction. A reaction that forms an insoluble precipitate. Redox reaction. Those chemical reactions in which oxidation and reduction takes, they take place simultaneously are called redox reactions. Examples of both physical and chemical change. The gift shows a cube of ice melting. This is a physical change because the ice is frozen water, so the outcome is water from the melted ice. This is reversible because you can turn water into ice by freezing. The difference between ice and water is their state of matter. And now here, the gif shows a burning wood. This is a chemical change because the burning wood is transfer transformed into carbon dioxide, water vapor, and ash. So the outcome you see is ash on the ground.
This is irreversible because ash is a completely new substance. This is the end of my presentation and thank you all for listening to my discussion.